I know the love and compassion that was opened up in my heart at that very first workshop and then to continue to be able to be part of that with all the men and women that we serve and then also support like people that are coming home there's just like so many opportunities that can come I was literally just on my way to the chapel when I seen all these free people hanging out with guys that were in blue like me having lunch and I just seemed really happy to be there um, then I found out who it was signed up and ended up in my first workshop and I'm sitting down to a lady who's just there sit like literally sitting right next to me talking about how happy she was that I was there with this big old smile I honestly felt a little bit of awkward but uh, I just kind of rolled with it like some of my friends told me to and that first trio when she shared she created a space that got like just felt real safe and vulnerable my eyes started to leak a little bit and first that's usually not the first thing that goes on when you meet people in prison so at the end of that workshop i found myself talking to my celly and i was like man it'd be so cool to just like one make it home because it wasn't determined that i was ever going to come home two to just like come in and like volunteer and just be part of this Fast forward a few years later, thank God he opened the door. I came home two weeks later, I had a job. And then just a few months ago, uh, I go back into the very same prison and I at my first workshop there uh, as a free person, I get to co-facilitate with the founders. And so like, that was just like one, uh, uh, seeing like the impossible. And then just the journey from my first task was to help create the flyer, to co-creating a year-long curriculum, to developing another program. Seeing what is possible there has just really like ignited a spark. Well, man, I think like anything's possible. I can't wait to just like continue to expand to like have our exact same program completely like translated into Spanish, build a Spanish reading team, evolve into Mexico to uh, support all of our alumni that are getting deported, train them as facilitators, maybe even go into those prisons, expand out of state, hopefully Australia coming soon. There's just like all these projects like, man, well, you know what, if I just keep doing, like working diligently right now and continue to be part of the work, which is really sustaining, there's really almost nothing impossible. You know, as long as you just diligently work, like you can create something out of nothing. Mm -hmm. And Thankfully, we're not creating something out of nothing. There's a lot of substance in the work that we do, which makes it even more powerful. I know that with the systems and things that we're putting into place are able to continue to grow, mostly within the hearts of people, which when that takes place, like there's no stopping anybody. Like they can really like blossom, bear fruit. And it's just, it's amazing. So I'm very grateful, most of all, for all the support from the Freedom to Choose family, the volunteers. What have we done without you as the love that we felt when you came in? Man, that just changed everything.